back from New York and fun as always. I love going there, but I'm leaving again at the end of this week to go somewhere that I'm very excited about. Very excited. But I also need to get a lot of work done this week. I'm gonna try to be very productive, but also realistic. But I thought it'd be cool to kind of document a week in my life here. So come along for a productive, but realistic week in my life. This week is a writing slash editing week, so no filming, but a lot of desk work. I feel like I haven't really talked about what I do for a living on here or in the past, so let me give some context. After dropping out of university in my first year, I went straight into freelance for video and editing. I'm kind of used to working from home by now since I did that for several years. It's been nice to set my own schedule, but definitely has been a learning curve since it's only me keeping myself accountable. But in the past year, I've stopped freelance, and now I just do YouTube full-time, which has always been a goal of mine. Then planning. Usually I like to start off my week planning everything that I need to work on for the week, just so I'm organized. Then I try to do some writing or any kind of research in the morning. And then my afternoon to evening, we edit. Mmm, I need grilled cheeses. On the way in downtown Toronto, we caught the morning train. Today we're going to meet up with two of my creator friends, Melissa and Sabrina. We met at an event here in Toronto and ever since then we try to do co-working sessions every now and then. Looks like a beautiful day, beautiful day in the city. Today we got more editing. There's always editing. So when it comes to an edit, most of the time I already know what I'm looking for by the time I'm importing my footage and depending on how filming went. But usually I start out by looking for a song for the section that I'm going to edit. And if you're familiar with my channel, you know I love epidemic sound. They have a huge library of music and sound effects. I start by searching up the genre or mood that I'm looking for, and I find a couple of options using the Find Similar tool. Literally a lifesaver. Once I find the perfect song, I download, drop it in the timeline, and then I'll paste the edit to the song. From there, I layer sound effects for a more immersive viewing experience. Sound design is extremely important. It determines the overall mood and the outcome of the final product. And this is the thing that makes your footage come alive. 
And when using Epidemic Sound, all rights are included so you can publish your content worry-free worldwide. So if you're looking to level up your post-production and bring your stories to life, you can sign up for a 7-day free trial with Epidemic Sound using the link in my description. for some color grading. Usually this is a whole session on its own. You were probably wondering what this contraption is and this is the DaVinci Resolve micro panel. They sent it to me sometime last year and I've been using it ever since. I wish I could say I have a very balanced routine all the time, but most of the time I stay up way too late or always feel like I'm playing catch up. I used to feel very discouraged about this, but I guess there's just going to be some times where I have to stay up and work late to get things done, and maybe hopefully can work towards a better routine. Sometimes it really feels like, how on earth am I supposed to have time for everything that I want to do? A career, a social life, family time, working out, or is it really just a secret that some things will be more neglected than others? At least that's how it feels right now in this era of my life. It's a work in progress. I'm done for the week. <laughs> Maybe I had like two or three more things that I didn't really get to. It's not the end of the world and I'm just gonna do it when I come back. But we did have a productive week, so I'm happy with that. Now I'm gonna go meet up with Aria. Pray to everything that you believe in. Let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> 